Today, people can pick out clothes to wear from a wide range of variety. And as far as history recalls, for women, clothing and related accessories have been critical, not just for fashion and beauty, but for the personal values they convey. Those values could become the identity of a nation. Iran is a country with many different ethnic groups. Each of these have their own exceptional clothing, an assortment of color, beauty and elegance. The Iranian people have been wearing these exquisite clothes for centuries and centuries, and not just for a certain occasion, but every day. Nowadays, especially in big cities like Tehran, these traditional clothes are not that much popular anymore. But there has been a recent growing trend among designers to go back to basics and seek inspiration from the past. Yasaman Hagiratpur is a 20-year-old motivated fashion designer who is very enthusiastic about Iran's traditional motifs and patterns and how they can be mirrored in today's clothing. Five years ago, Yasaman decided to create her own fashion line using patterns and motifs that are rooted in the country's traditions and customs. You see, for her, it's all about combining modernity with tradition. Expressive designs in vivid colors and elaborate floral patterns are the signature mark of Yasaman's clothing line and the reason why they're different and unique. Yasaman has three factors in mind when designing her clothes. For her, they should be stylish, they should be comfortable, and most of all, have great quality. She gets her inspirations from nature, and you can see all these colorful elements reflected in her designs. Every moment that you are watching this, all of these are from the parts that are not being used. All of these are because we have decided to make a لباسی داشته باشیم در... که در این حالی که مدرنه اصالت و زیبایی فرهنگمون رو نشون بدیم ایرانی بودنمون رو نشون بدیم و اینکه ما زنای ایرانی میتونیم با همین پوششی که داریم با همین هجابی که داریم چیزی بپوشیم که شایسته ماست چیزی بپوشیم که هویت ماست Talking about enthusiasm, I introduce you to Nusha Farin Davudi, a passionate fashion designer and researcher who has dedicated years studying the clothes Iranian women have been wearing throughout centuries. In the recent exhibition held in Tehran's Mila Tower, we got to see from up close how Iranian women dressed and expressed themselves. The variety of clothes was tremendous here, from clothes worn in the 2nd and 3rd millennium BC to those worn by different tribes and also religious minorities. The women in the Safavid period used to wear some kind of headwear. Now that depended on their social rank, from different crowns made with gold and silver with beautiful jewels to different forms of fabric in different colors. This beautiful blue dress that I'm wearing right now has been inspired by the clothes that women used to wear back in the Taimurid period, which is about 600 years ago. یه لباس های خانم های ایرانی که اونو از بقیه کشورهای دنیا متمایز میکنه یکی رنگ های شادیه که تو لباس ها به کار میره و هنر دستی که روی لباس ها انجام میشه به عنوان مثال پت دوزی، روبان دوزی، غیتون دوزی، نوار دوزی 
و از هم مهمتر سکه دوزی که میتونم بگم همین سکه یکی از نشونهای تمنبول مالی خانما و همچنین که وقتی یه خانمی داشته میومده با صدای سکه هایی که روی لباساش بوده اعلام کرده که دارم میام این یه علامتی برای خانم ایرانی بوده لباس زنان ایرانی در طول تاریخ در این زیبایی و چشنوازیش داره پوشیدگی کامل بوده حتی در یه برهی از تاریخ ایران آقایون به تقلید از خانما لباس بلند تا مچ پا می پوشیدن The women in the Qajar period used to wear chador to cover their clothes. Now this chador ranged from different colors from black to navy blue and beautiful turquoise. Now let's take a brief look at some of the clothes Nusha Farin presented in the exhibition. The Turkmen women in northeastern Iran wear outfits made in silk and decorated with needlework. Clothes tend to favor rusty and earthy colors, such as deep reds and dark browns. The Kormanji women who live in the Khorasan province wear a colorful dress with coins sewn on the vest and on the scarf. A pair of long earrings is also attached to their scarf. Their handmade shoes are called charok. The Qashqai women who live in the province of Fars are known for their multi-layered skirts, bright tunics and lengthy headscarves that blanket a large part of their tunics. The Baluchi women living in the southeastern province of Sistan and Baluchistan wear outfits decorated with needlework. Their sleeves, collars and pants are adorned with embroidery. They also wear a chador made out of fine fabrics to cover their clothes. Going back in time, and this is how women dressed in the Qajar period, from 1785 to 1925. Long sleeved dresses with slits on the sides or wide frilled skirts edged with laces in the bottom were typical those days. This stunning dress is from the Kalat Naderi region, a city in the northeastern province of Khorasan. Red silk is used throughout the outfit, with large baggy pants underneath the skirt. Women who live in Aliabad Katul, a city in the north province of Golestan, wear sequin clothes, decorated with handmade frills and coins. Their traditional costume includes a dress, a crimped skirt, a hat, a scarf, and a special collar. And finally, the women in Mahabad, a city in the northwestern province of Azerbaijan. For these women, brocade fabrics says it all. Their dress is often colorful and vibrant, with hats decorated with coins and shiny sequins. Hoda Lezgi for Iran.